I want to hear you talk about the song Don't Rock the Jukebox and what that was like writing that song that helped just take Alan to a different level with the second album. Man, wow. He, uh, well, first of all, Alan brought the title in. Alan and Keith Stigall and me were writing, and we were writing for Alan, although at that time he was singing demos. That's what he was doing to make a living. But he knew, Alan Jackson knew he was going, he was going to head for stardom. He knew it better than any of us. And so anyhow, he brought that title in, and Keith and I looked at each other, and we knew we, we had something special there. And um, a lot of people kind of credit me with, with being there when the, they got the title, but it, it was another Roger that worked for him in the band. He leaned up against the jukebox, and, and uh, one of the other of them said, hey, man, don't, you, don't rock a jukebox. And so Alan, Alan brought her to our session that day, and um, as they say, when we got through with that thing, it, the rest was history. Amen. Yeah, and uh, Keith took him in, and he became the Alan Jackson that we know, really. <laughs> uh, George showed up in this video, didn't he? George. George Jones. I don't know. Did he? I think he is at the end. Uh, oh. Um, but it was a great video. And it was, there we go. Yeah. There's old George. Well. He had a special relationship with George. Oh, yeah. Or has. Yeah, he or, had so much respect for him. And, and George, of course, for Alan as well. He knew Alan was going to carry the torch. Yeah. Because he had done he the song. He was going to sing the real stuff. Or, yeah, you know? he had done the song, Who's Going to Fill Their Shoes? And yeah. he found it in Alan, that's for sure. Exactly. Thanks for watching this clip of Country Drive. To see more in the future, please hit like and subscribe.